hello so this tutorial is for discussion of DDA line drawing algorithm first of all <coughs> what is meant by line so if I want to draw a line on the paper if I know two points x1 y1 x2 y2 I will just join them and I will draw the line but in case of computer it is difficult to draw uh, like this line is represented with equation y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope m is the slope and c is nothing but it is y intercept so this point if we compare it's uh, the value of this point or coordinate of this point is 0 comma c so c will come from this so it is y intercept if we are taking computer into consideration then for drawing the line suppose this is the first point x1 y1 x2 y2 and second is x2 y2 then in computer you have to find which pixels are coming in the part of the line and that pixels you have to plot it or display it so that will look like a line now one more thing I would like to say suppose this is the line with uh, x this is x co uh, coordinate uh, x axis and this is y axis and this is x y coordinate system and this line having slope y is equal or equation y is equal to x and slope is equal to 1 any line in in this particular octant having slope less than 1 and any line in this octant having slope greater than 1 so slope less than 1 or greater one than 1 it shows that it has more x spread it is x spread is more or x spread is more here y spread is more instead of x so in dd algorithm wherever spread is more you have to add one in that direction means in the x values you have to add one and other value you have to calculate based on the slope equation slope equation is slope m is equal to delta y upon delta x if i know any one value delta x is equal to 1 then delta y can be calculated as m into 1 so if delta x is 1 then i can calculate like this and if suppose delta y is known to me or delta y is equal to 1 suppose then delta x will be is equal to uh, it is equal to m upon delta x m will be uh, sorry delta y upon it is equal to delta y upon m so means it is equal to 1 by m <laughs> so this can be used for the dda line drawing algorithm <coughs> those are the steps for a dda algorithm initially you have to accept inputs x1 y1 x2 y2 as the end point of line then calculate dx that is the difference between x2 and x1 and y2 and y1 then find out which value whether it is x spread is more or y spread is more by having the absolute value we know that absolute or any negative value is also positive absolute means the magnitude so length will become dx if absolute dx is greater then length will be dx if dy is greater length will be dy now calculate x increment for example if absolute dx it is greater than dy so that length will become dx so this dx x increment is dx upon length is dx dx upon dx is equal to 1 and y increment is dy upon it is equal to m so now plot first point uh, x1 y1 you have to plot then calculate x of k plus 1 so this is the recursive calculation x of k plus 1 is the next value it is the next value x of k is the present value present value and x increment is calculated here so you have to recursively calculate x of k plus 1 x of k is equal to x of k plus 1 is equal to x of k plus x increment and you have to repeat this step number 6 length times means whatever dx or dy times that times you have to repeat so this is the flowchart of dda line drawing algorithm initially you have to accept the inputs then calculate dx and dy check for whether dx is greater or dy based on the uh, that it will become length is dx or dy 
x increment is dx upon length, y increment is dy upon length. You have to plot the first point, and this is the recursive calculation. I calculate recursively till the count becomes less than or equal to length. So I will give you the example. For example, rasterize the line. This is the example. Rasterize the line with 10.58 and 15.14 using DD algorithm. So from our data, x1, y1 is 58, x2, y2 is 15.14. So that x1 is 5, y1 is 8, x2 is 15, y2 is 14. Calculate dx. That is difference between x1 minus x1, y2 minus y1. Calculate as length. <coughs> After. Calculation of length, x increment, y increment. We'll move towards next calculation. Those are nothing but recursive calculations of x of k plus one and y of k plus one. So actually, x of k plus one is equal to x of k plus x increment, where x of k is the present value. This is nothing but the increment factor, and this is nothing but the future value we have. So that initially. X of k is 5, <coughs> y of k is say 8, so that x of k plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1. When this is the increment in x, so that will become 6. So x of k plus 1 becomes 6. Y of k plus 1 is equal to 8 as y of k plus increment that is equal to 8.6, so that will be y of k plus 1. So as the um, pixel value is integer, so fraction should be uh, rounded to nearest integer. It is greater than 0.5, so it is uh, rounded to 9. Now, for further calculation, you have to take the 6 as x of k plus 1 and a fraction value for the calculation, not the integer value. So, addition will be 6 plus 1 7 and 8.6 plus 0.6 9.2, so rounded to 9. So, this uh, procedure or this uh, recursive calculation will be done. Length times that is mean by 10 times. So here length is equal to length is 10. So the calculation is repeated 10 times. After calculation, you must plot the uh, raster. You must plot all the pixels. So first pixel is 5 comma 8, so it is plotted. Next pixel is 6 comma 9, so it is plotted as a 6x and y as a 9. Then next as a 7 comma 9. 7 comma 9, then 8 comma 10, 9 comma 10, 10 comma 11. So all the pixels have to be plotted in the raster. So this is all about the DDA algorithm, and by using DDA we can plot the line. Now with DDA we have some advantages and some disadvantages. So advantages it is simple one, simple. And disadvantages are so we are using fractional calculation, so it will be slow, and the memory will be memory requirement will be more as a fraction calculation. Second is we are rounding to the nearest integer, so because of the rounding, the actual line path and the plotted this is suppose plotted pixel and this is actual line path, so the path may be shifted. Yes, sir.